guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here deep within Los Angeles at the day before the media event for the Los Angeles Auto Show. And guess what? We have a launch from an iconic sports car brand. This is it. This is your all new 2023 Porsche 911 Dakar. But before we get into this all wheel drive, all wheel off road 911, let's talk about what's going on here. Porsche. There is no substitute, and for years and years, since the mid-1960s, it was 911 that you would dial on your phone, not for an emergency, but to, of course, get that top pinnacle of German sports car performance. Now, what's interesting with this Dakar 911, some people might be scratching their head and say, hold on a second, why do we need or have an off-road worthy Porsche 911? 911's always about road courses. Here's the reason why. It goes back to 1984 when Porsche won the grueling Paris Dakar Rally. That was actually the first time that Porsche had won it in a 911, of course, and a 911 that was the first to feature all-wheel drive. Now, it's interesting because over the years, all-wheel drive has become a familiar sight in 911s when you get a Carrera 4, Carrera 4S, of course, the mighty Turbo and Turbo S, but this Dakar is really making that connection with the past, but also giving you true off-road performance. So what I want to find out is, is this the best new sports car to buy, the most unique when it comes to the 911 Dakar? Let's go ahead and dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. It may look like chalk to you, it's not. This is actually a 911 Dakar specific color called shade green. At the front of the business, you're gonna get that same familiar 911 look, even though things sit a little higher. So of course, full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps with the gloss black trim. The front fascia is totally unique to the Dakar. So you're gonna have massive wire mesh openings to bring cool air for those heat exchangers, but you'll also notice on the lower edge of the splitter, the unique touches for off-road duty in its standard setting for suspension you have over six inches of ground clearance you could actually raise this and get over seven inches of ground clearance in this 911. now as we slide across the front you see more of that unique finish i like the way that they went with flat black of course you have a bright red tow hook something that you know this is the true business end of off-roading and then we also have a very low mounted forward facing camera the only thing i would zonk is i would like to see a uh, a camera washer here when this gets all muddy, but I love the way that they did the lower portion. And then of course, underneath you are gonna get skid plates to protect the underbelly of this 911. Now, as we get up onto the hood, it looks familiar, doesn't it? It's right off of the GT3. So I love the way you have your wire mesh to bring that air for aerodynamic uses. We do have, of course, the multi-radiator system up front. And then getting up onto that front mounted trunk, the great news is this will open up and you have that storage space. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel, with the 911 Dakar? First of all, you're gonna get a unique set of wheels, all four corners. So I love what they did with the satin black, simple five spoke design, making that connection to that 911 that won the Paris Dakar rally. You'll notice the required six piston Brembo calipers, rotors that are the size of California kitchen pizzas with extra pepperoni that are gonna give you that stopping power, cross-drilled, fully ventilated. And what's interesting is that this is the first application of an off-road tire on a 911. These are those Pirelli Scorpion tires, staggered set up on this vehicle. So you'll notice that shielding protection. This is a real off-road tire on, on this wheel. And what you're gonna notice is 19 inch wheel up front, 20 inch wheel out back, 245 on the width, 45 series sidewall. You do have the flat black around the fender treatment, obviously because this is off-road spec and they've done thousands of miles through sand dunes, through rocky roads to get and showcase the technology with this. So that's the thing that they're trying to connect is with that Paris Dakar rally, having that ability. And what's interesting, there's a lot of air-cooled 911 folks that are resto modding their 911s into something that is this, but this is straight from the factory. Now what you'll notice is with the suspension, like I said, this is your standard setting. You could raise it and get that extra ground clearance all by the press of a button. When we're coming down the side, what do we got? We got that beautiful shade green 
on your mirror caps, the 360 degree cameras that work well with the forward facing camera. Of course, that silhouette of a 911. And this was a balance. It was a balance between having that connection with the original Paris Dakar winner, but also having that familiar new contemporary look. I love along the lower sill, you have that extension and the way that they have the cohesive design from the front to the side. And you'll see when we get to the back, just like other 992s, you do have your flush door handles. And of course, those nice, sexy flared out fenders. Now, when we look at the back, like I said, we have a staggered wheel and tire setup, 19 inch up front, 20 inch out back, and really just, like I said, that machined aluminum finish all the way around really looks totally spectacular. This rear tire, 295 on the width. So you're getting a wider wheel and tire, obviously with the all wheel drive system, be able to send power forward and to the rear. And they did a bunch of work to the chassis for that off-road duty. And then coming around back, 911's always about the wing. And this wing is specific to the Dakar. Love the way they just went simple flat black. You'll see obviously those vertical slots for bringing that cool air because we do still have that rear engine. What do we have? The same engine from upgraded 911 GTS. So you're looking at 40, 473 horsepower out of that flat six, three liter twin turbo, flat six. It is mated to an eight speed PDK, no manual available. So that is another Zonk. I wish you could get a manual, but you do have that fast shifting eight speed PDK. 473 horsepower, just like the 911 GTS that we drove not too long ago. Now down below, you'll see that beautiful work they did with the LED lighting. Everything flat black is gonna take a better beating. We have a rear mounted tow hook, and then my favorite badge on the back, 911 Dakar, all that history. Look at the way they even did the support. And if you look at pictures of the original 911 that won back in 84, this wing is very, very similar. On the bottom end, you have this actual metal shielding with that sport exhaust, nice oval opening, super clean, protected, all the way across the back, really gives it a unique look. But you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can get inside this 911 Dakar and see what's different. All right, guys, we're inside this new 911 Dakar. Really fills up the lineup from your entry-level 911, the obviously Carrera S, you got, of course, your GTS, GT3, Turbo, and now the Dakar. I know you're saying, well, Joe, I want one of these bad boys. How much is it? MSRP is right around $220,000. They're only making 2,500 of these. Just 2,500, and that's it. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. Love the clean Porsche styling, just like other 911s. You got your race text material the contrast stitching. Of course, you have the space in the bottom for your off-road Twinkies. Those are those chocolate-filled Twinkies. And we got the Bose sound system. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, look at the great sand, beautiful uh, green shade color on the stitching. You have your 911 Dakar badge that is numbered, like I said, up to 2,500 of them. And you got your race text material along the bottom of the full dash. Of course, we have the Sport Chrono package that acts as a stopwatch and a clock. When it comes to infotainment, we can't turn on the vehicle because obviously we're at this media event, but you do get your 10.2 inch screen. The biggest change is you're gonna get rally launch control. So zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. And because of the off-road tires, you're gonna have a top speed that's governed to 150 miles per hour because of the off-road tires. This is where you're gonna raise and lower. Like I said, you could go from six and a half inches of ground clearance to over seven, open up that exhaust, the sport exhaust, AC vents, dual climate control. I just, like I said, I wish that this came with something other than the PDK, but the PDK is a great transmission. I can't fault it, but I am gonna zonk the amount of gloss black here. Too much gloss black, especially when it comes to off-road fingerprints. And then of course you have some nice aluminum finish, Race text with the stitching, this opens up. You got a place for your phone, two USB-Cs. Obviously, this is where you're gonna wanna probably keep, I would say a couple bags of Skittles because you need those when you're off-roading. I hope you're not planning on bringing many people with you. Rear seat delete, so just like the GT3, GT3 RS, rear seat delete. But the great news is, talking about the seats, we have, of course, the one-piece carbon fiber bucket, 911 embroidery, race text material. This bolstering is awesome. It may seem like a chore to get in, but you know what? Once you're in, you're in like Flynn, 
and you're going to feel so good behind the wheel. Tons of headroom, no sunroof available. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of the new 911 Dakar. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this 911 Dakar. So crazy that they're only going to make 2,500 of these. You can get an optional cargo basket to attach to the roof. It can hold up to 92 pounds from when you're off-roading. And what's crazy is this vehicle only weighs about 16 pounds more than a 911 Carrera S, if you could believe that. <laughs> Mind-blowing. Of course, we got the beautiful aluminum sill plate, 911 Dakar, a pedal box made for a race car, aluminum dead pedal, brake and throttle. The seats, I'm telling you, I want a pair of these for my house just to sit in. And then, of course, the steering wheel. GT spec inspired race text material. We got the shade green, just like the outside stripe up top. You got the ability to adjust your drive modes. And then of course, tilting and telescoping steering wheel. I'm gonna get the steering wheel out of the way so Lori can show off the dash with that analog tachometer. Redline 7,500 RPM. The car only weighs around 3,500 pounds. And you got the metal paddles to go up and down that seven speed PDK. I don't know about you, or excuse me, eight speed PDK. I almost zonked myself there. Eight speed PDK. I don't know about you, I can't wait to go on throttle. I am definitely gonna get with my contacts at Porsche so that we could do it off-road. But until that happens, they're kicking us out here from LA. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. All right, guys, this has been a mind-blowing experience here at the LA Auto Show secret unveiling that we were able to bring to you. Of course, we gotta thank everybody from Porsche North America for inviting us so that we could bring this all new 911 Dakar to you. But I wanna show you something. We're gonna do it like we do it, Rady's Ride special, live video format. We're gonna squeeze through the crowd here because guess what? This may look like that Paris Dakar rally setup, but this is actually a special addition with the paint job. You're still getting, of course, the GT3, that carbon fiber hood. Love the Rotham's graphics. This is part of that history. And it's not just about the Paris Dakar rally. You look at the Porsche 962s that dominated at the coveted 24 Hours of Le Mans, had these colors as well. So much history. And that's what 911 is all about. What Porsche is all about is having that connection with performance, but also having the connection with the history. This one has the optional cargo basket up top. Remember, 90 pounds of weight. I love the way they worked LED lighting into the actual cargo basket itself. You got your fuel filler doors up top. And then of course, the color graphics with the wheels really make this spot on the money, bringing it back to 1984 when Porsche won the Paris Dakar Rally. But definitely, like I was saying, want to thank everybody here at Porsche North America for inviting us to this event. Let me know what you think about the 911 Dakar. Are you pumped? Do you think this is sacrilege to take a 911, which is normally found on road courses, and do something where you're going to go a little bit more off-road duty-esque? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to the muscle behind the lens. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in that comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.